Welcome to my channel, you guys. As you guys can see here, I have a toilet seat, but it's not just any toilet seat, it's actually a bidet. So I'm gonna show you guys how to install it, I'm gonna be using it, and I'm gonna tell you guys if I like it or not. My name is DeAndre Anthony, and this is another episode of Whatchamacallit and Thingamajig. you guys so let's go ahead and unbox this bidet now as you guys can see that this bidet was partially open it's because I got it off of Amazon as used I got it for a good deal I think it's like originally uh, like at around $268 or something like that maybe it's like close to $300 but I got a good sale I think it was maybe uh, $162 I think I got it for so um, I took a, a risk at buying this, but the bigger risk is I actually bought this. <laughs> I bought this November, November of 2020, and I'm just now unboxing it now. Um, so I'm hoping that it's still good. We're gonna find out right now in this video. Right now it's February 2021, so let's get started. Okay. So let me go ahead and flip it to the other side, as you can see. Right here it says, thanks, thanks to you, this product has, has a second life. We appreciate it. So this came from the Amazon warehouse, you know, so this is definitely a reuse. So let's go ahead and unbox it. This is gonna be a little easier because it was already unboxed. Um, so here it is. tools out. Hopefully I have all the tools that I need for this. It looks clean. It looks clean and it looks like when I look at the actual product itself, it looks unused. So I don't know, maybe somebody actually used it and then they decided they didn't want it and they returned it or they did use it and they decided it wasn't for them. I'm not sure. <clears throat> but you can definitely tell that they did use it because you can see the holes, the part you put the holes at. You can see it's kind of black right here. But other than that, the um, the bidet is actually uh, clean. It still had tape and stuff um, at the original spots. So or maybe I don't know, maybe Amazon put those there. <laughs> but this is it, you guys. Um, so it doesn't look like there's much assembling to do. So I may have to just go ahead and take this into the bathroom and go ahead and finish filming in there. But first, let me see if I have all of the pieces first. All right, so I think I have everything. So it does come with a user tip guide. I'm not sure if you can actually see that. But it has user tips, has like four different user tips. It also has the warranty information. So five year limited warranty or two year limited warranty. So the five year limited warranty covers these particular models. The two year limited warranty covers the model that I have. So the uh, ATS 800 and then the model that I have is the ATS 500. So this is all the, um, the warranty information here. Okay. All right. All right, so let's go to the bathroom. So I just want to say before you get started, before you get started, make sure that your plug has three, uh, is three prone because your, because your plug has three prones, but 
the thing about it is your cord only goes but so far. So if, if you don't have a plug uh, near your toilet, you definitely have to use an extension cord. So make sure you get an extension cord, unlike what I did that has the three prone. This extension cord has two. So I had to buy, I had to buy an adapter that has three prones in it, okay? So make sure, so make sure that you take care of this first before you install this because it's that cord long enough to make it way over there to that cord over there, okay? All right, let's get started. Okay, you guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is shut off the water supply by making a, turning it off to the right. And then after that, it's not telling me to flush, but I should be flushing it first. Yeah, I should be flushing it. There's, okay, in the manual, the instruction does not say flush it. But I'm just going to assume I need to flush the water out because if I actually open up this hose um, while there's water in this tank, I'm going to have water all over the floor. So I decided to uh, take a leap of faith and flush the toilet. As you see, I did turn off the valve because you don't hear the as the water coming in, you don't hear the water filling back up. So I just turned off the water supply. So what I'm going to do now is disconnect the hose from a water tank. Okay, so the water tank. Okay. So I disconnected it from the water tank. So now what I have to do is, is add the T valve to the water tank. Okay. So I'm gonna put it like this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and Reconnect the water hose. Reconnect the water supply hose, but I'm going to connect it to the T valve at the bottom of the T valve. Okay. All right. So I did that. So now I'm going to go ahead and take off the toilet seat. I've already unscrewed the bottom. Okay, we can go ahead and take off the original seat cover and the lid. And now I'll replace it with the bidet's seat and lid. Okay. soft okay so I went ahead and inserted inserted the, uh, the bidet so now I need to go ahead and put these screws in at the bottom and do the same thing for the other side now I can go ahead and connect the flexible tube uh, from the side of the T, T valve to connect to the unit. So I'll put it right here, right here on the side, underneath this remote. Okay. Whew. Wow. That was hard. Now I can go ahead and turn it 
turn on the water valves. Okay. As you guys can hear, that is filling up. Now while the water is filling up, I can go ahead and go ahead and connect the cords. So to operate this thing, this thing is definitely skin sensitive. So the skin has to make contact on this bidet. Okay. So you guys, I'm about to use it. Whew. So what I do now is I can either hit the, um, the rear wash, the lady wash, or the turbo wash, okay? So right now, uh, for GP, I'm gonna use all of them just so we can see what it feels like, okay? Uh, well, just so I can see what it feels like. All right, here we go, here's the wash. Now right here is the nozzle, so if I feel like it's not uh, hitting the spot correctly, I can actually adjust it here. And this is the water pressure. So that, what it's doing now is actually filling up the tank. Um, right now, it actually came out at the right spot in my rear. It's a little, it's, it's not that cold as I thought it would be. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm hitting the, uh, the water button to try to warm it up a little bit. But the water is actually going directly into my rear. Not inside of my rear, but it's hitting my rear to the T. Uh, let me put a little pressure on the nozzle. So I think this is the pressure. If I wanted to, if I want the pressure to come a little, there we go. Okay. Now, if you're someone who, um, who stool uh, is regular, you may not need it to use uh, too much pressure. Um, you may have to use a lot of more, you may have to use a lot a lot of pressure if like maybe if your diet isn't as great and if it's kind of like coming out, you know, like Play-Doh, then you need that extra uh, pressure or turbo, but we'll get to turbo later. Uh, when I use the pressure here, um, it didn't, it was a little pressure, but it wasn't like, like the pressure wasn't like annoying to your, uh, to your hole. Um, I think maybe right here would be good. Um, just so I could feel. Now this is the lady one. Now I want to know, maybe the nozzle is going to extend out more. I'm not sure what that is, but let me see. Okay, so the, war the water has warmed up a little bit, just a slight bit. So, um, just it's really lukewarm. Um, the lady one is still, still feels like it's hitting the same spot for a guy, but I do feel it is a little bit uh, further up towards where my prostate is at. Um, so, maybe for a woman, that spot would be perfect. Uh, unfortunately, I can't verify that information. Um, so it's still going right now. Um, I've already done the water. Now the seat, I tried to see earlier, it's not that cold in here, uh, but it does get warm. But when I actually put it to the highest level, it didn't get too hot. Um, but for me right now, it was good right here when I did have it on. But I prefer it right now to not have it on because my body temperature, I already warmed it up. Okay, so the lady version has stopped. So I'm gonna use turbo. Now, I want to know what's the difference. Okay. Honestly, a turbo, it's not that much different. Um, using these buttons are optional. Um, I would say just for me as a guy whose stool is uh, it's not clunky, I could just easily just use this one. 
uh, with no problem. Um, okay, so it's still going right now on the turbo mode. <clears throat> Okay, now, so uh, this is the dryer. So unfortunately, when you use it as an adult, um, it doesn't dry immediately after you wash, okay? So let me hit the dryer button. I do feel the dryer. Now the dryer is setting this right here in the middle automatically. Um, so once you have the dryer on, this setting is still the setting. So is that level three? Um, it's comfortably warm. Uh, let me see if I turn it up some more and see what happens. Because honestly, I feel like I shouldn't have to use toilet paper if I have this bidet with the dryer. Now, the uh, the high heat to me is a little bit hot. I can feel uh, a little sting, um, just a slight sting from the heat. So for me, for me, I mean, it's different for everybody, but for me, I'm going to turn that down. Uh, I think actually at three will be best just for me okay so you don't have to hold any buttons down once you hit wash lady turbo dryer it happens on its own you don't have to hold any buttons you just let the timer just runs down on its own and then it will stop on its own now as I was reading the instructions earlier to me I think the child one that's better and because only because the child one actually um, starts the water on his own and then it starts the dryer on his own so to me that sounds like it's perfect I'm just waiting for the dryer to stop and then I'm gonna go ahead and try the child the child button just a note that you may uh, have to use the bathroom again if you use that dryer, because the dryer is a nice little warm um, at this level. Okay, so you heard the beep, so it was letting me know it was going to stop. Okay, so the water, this is for the water temperature. This is for the seat temperature. Uh, this is eco, just in case you want to uh, save on energy. This is the child one. So the child one, once you hit this button, it will automatically run the rear wash for 30 seconds and then dryer for one minute. And this, this function also adjusts the, uh, the nozzle position and the dryer temperature for a child's specification. So this is more of a safe mode for children. Everything is automatically done. The temperature, as you see, as you see this button right here, this button right here, I mean, you see the light? It was at three before I hit the child button. It went down to uh, to the second one. And then now it's off, so it went back to three because it's back in adult mode. Okay, you guys, that actually concludes my video. If you guys have any questions, please stop and drop down below and make a comment. I would definitely respond back to you guys if you guys have any questions. Um, also like this video and subscribe to my channel because every Thursday I have another segment of what you would call it and thingamajig. So I will have a different product that I can show you guys that you guys may want to use. Uh, so that's pretty much it. <laughs> Thank you guys for stopping by. Peace.